What does Sunday look like now? <laughs> Sunday is different. It's not as vibrant. Um, you don't get the energy. You know when you do praise and worship and you have 15, 20 people out versus 30 or 50 people, the, the feeling is different. You know, you have, it's, it's just different. Mm -hmm. But um, God still meets us. The spirit is still here. And so I'm thankful for that. But it's just different for the people, I think. Um, we have some that come faithfully every Sunday. We have some that show up a Sunday here, a Sunday there. Um, but they still come a couple times a month. And then we have some that show up every blue moon. And it's, it's kind of heartbreaking because you're like, God, I saw so much growth in this person. And you see them, um, how the growth kind of stunning and it reverted them back and you're just praying that God like grabs them and pulls them back where they were so that they can continue to go higher in him and not get stuck in a place of complacency. You said that you saw some people that kind of slid back. Mm -hmm. um, in general terms, in your church, mm -hmm. over this last year, 2020, did people grow? That's a loaded question because for some, yes. For some, seeing everything that happened and COVID affecting them has completely made them dependent upon the Lord. Um, I think the alone time gave them time to reevaluate, self-evaluate, and see the things that they needed to work on or they needed help from God from and so they began to pray and seek him for those things and others that time away from the community the the church community kind of pushed them back into whatever they were in before let's think about yourself mm -hmm. and just a person that you know who grew spiritually mm -hmm. and a person that you know who kind of slid backwards mm -hmm. um, what made the difference between a person who grew this last year and a person who didn't? Um, I would have to say the thirst. Like, you have to want this life. You have to know beyond a doubt that this is what you want. And because the things that you really want, that you long for in your heart, you go after. Mm. You know, whether it's a job or it's a mate or whatever, if it's an inanimate object that you know, okay, I have to save for in order to get because I can't afford it now, but I can get it if I save uh, $100 a month or whatever. Give me a couple months and I'll be able to get it. It's the same thing with this life. You have to know that this is what you want. So that the things that you need to do to seek God, because you have to genuinely seek him, in your own time, I can't seek him for you. You know, I can't flourish the relationship between you and God. You have to build that. And so for the ones that genuinely wanted change and not just um, enjoyed the idea of change, I see the growth. And the ones that want wanted the change because they knew they needed it but didn't want to do the work for it, I see the fallback. Interesting, because I think a lot of times when we have church, mm -hmm. the more vibrant the church is, the more we can fool ourselves into thinking we're growing spiritually mm -hmm. because we're not doing the work, mm -hmm. right? The work is being done for us. Mm -hmm. But what I'm hearing you say is that um, when you don't have the work being done for you, mm -hmm. um, as if that would ever work anyway, when you don't have the work being done for you, you have to want it. Yes, so the thirst, the thirst for God, the thirst for spiritual growth mm -hmm. is the thing that sets a grower apart from a slider. Yes, I believe. Um, and it's because I've been in both places. Hmm. I've been one that being around the people kind of makes you feel like you do all of the things that you see them do um, in front of them. But in the private moments, Maybe you don't read as the way that you should. You don't study. 
the word tells us study to show thyself approved. Well, if you're studying, but I'm not studying, but I read it real quick before we begin to talk about it, it looks like I studied, but I really didn't study. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, when it's time for the test, you're going to pass, but I'm going to fail because I didn't study. And so in those moments, you know, you revert back to what you know.